Hello fellow PR students. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Andy Swordout and I'm this year's Executive President of Student Government. And um, this video, I also have some other of our officers making videos after mine. Uh, it's all about homecoming. Just giving you guys some details and information about what the experience is gonna be like this year as far as the game, the dance, um, the food drive, spirit week, all that kind of stuff. So please give it a watch um, and we hope to give you guys a good head start on what you can expect going into the school year here for homecoming. So first off, uh, the voting. First round of voting will be the week of September 9th. And so just be sure to check your emails for Google Forms and things like that so you can vote. Um, and then the homecoming game is gonna be Friday, September 17th. And we didn't have them last year, but this year we will have the booths again with foods and snacks and things like that outside the front entrance of the stadium uh, for your enjoyment. So those will be there. And then for the homecoming dance, the dance is a definite yes this year. Uh, it was up in the air for a little while. We weren't sure if we were going to have it as numbers have started to increase again and all that stuff. But we are going to have it. It's going to be 7 to 10 o'clock uh, just as usual. But it is going to look a little bit different this year. So the dance is actually going to be outside on the football field on the turf. Um, I know right away a lot of you probably don't like to hear that. But um, our reasoning behind it was if we were going to do it traditionally like inside like we do, um, we are going to have to split up into two groups with freshmen and sophomores in the gym and juniors and seniors in the cafeteria. And then on top of that, we were all going to have to wear masks and we weren't going to be able to have any close contact dancing. So ultimately how we kind of envisioned it um, happening was the chaperones were going to be frustrated because they were going to have to keep walking around telling people to pull up their masks and spread further apart. And ultimately it was just kind of end up like people being bored standing far away from each other on their phones like wanting to leave before it's actually time to leave so we don't want that to happen we want it to be a much more enjoyable experience for everybody especially since we haven't you know had a dance in like two years now and it's such a fun part of the high school experience so uh by doing it outside on the football field uh we won't have to have masks we'll be able to be closer together interact with people more and we think it'll just be a lot more fun uh, we're going to get a DJ out there, we'll have some uh, picture booths, and um, we'll have some like cornhole and spike ball and things like that to keep you guys entertained. We're also going to have some like snacks and drinks up um, in the lobby of the stadium where the concession stands are. Uh, we've had Rita's and Ice in the past, we'll probably do that again, things like that. Um, and then from 7 to 10, we'll have you know, a little bit of like sunset time, people can take pictures out there, uh, hopefully it'll be a pretty night. So that'll be fun before it gets dark. But overall, we just thought it would be a lot more fun for everybody being out there and being able to interact more as opposed to being inside stuck in the gym. So ultimately, that will still be our plan B. Um, if the weather is bad, um, we will move inside and have to do all that stuff. But since homecoming is so early this year, we think that being outside is um, the plan will work out because it's so early and the weather should still be nice. If it was more of a late October homecoming it might be too cold and we wouldn't be thinking of doing it this way, but I think we'll be all right here. Uh, so ultimately that's what the dance is going to look like. Uh, we'll have more information for you guys, you know, once we get back to school and we'll be planning some things out, letting you guys know what's going on. But like I said, there's a couple more of our officers there that are going to talk after me here, give you guys some more information about things. So please watch through and um, get the information. And we look forward to seeing all you guys at the start of school year here soon and having a really fun homecoming experience. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Caitlin McCracken and I am the senior class president. I will be talking about homecoming ticket sales. I know everyone is so excited, but we do have to discuss a few things before we can all go to the dance and have a lot of fun. So the first thing is when the sales are happening. They will be happening from Wednesday, September 8th to Wednesday, September 17th. So that gives you an entire week to make sure that you come prepared with your $25 and your signed forms. Now, if you are bringing someone from outside the Pine Ridge School District, you also must have a separate form for them. There's another process for that that will be clarified on the forms. These forms can be picked up in the cafeteria or outside of Mrs. Bruff's room, which is room 45. A few other things. Tickets will not be sold at the door of the homecoming dance. You have to buy them during this week period of time. 
Plus, tickets are non-refundable, so just remember that. They will be $25 this year. There is no multiple prices. It is all one price of $25, and they're non-refundable. We are super, super excited to see everybody there, so just come prepared when you go to buy those tickets, and we're super Hi, excited. Hi, everyone. I'm Miranda Sala, and I'm your student government vice president on the executive board. Welcome back. We're so excited to see all of you, and hopefully you had an amazing summer. Now, although the school year just began, we have a lot to look forward to. First off, the homecoming dance is September 18th from 7 to 10 p.m. here at the Pine Ridgeland Stadium. Mark your calendars. The week leading up to the dance, so September 13th through the 17th, is Spirit Week. Now, listen very carefully because we want all of you participating this week. The days are as follows. Monday is Woke Up Late Monday. Any school-appropriate pajamas or comfortable clothing are perfectly fine. Tuesday is Party in the USA Tuesday without your red, white, and blue. Wednesday is Wild West Wednesday. If you have any cowboy hats or cowboy boots, there's literally no better time to wear those. Thursday is Jersey Thursday. Uh, you can wrap your favorite sports team or maybe wear your own jersey. And then Friday, we're ending with a classic green and white Friday, so school colors. Um, hopefully everyone participates. We really want to spread school spirit, especially going into the end of the week, as we have both the homecoming game and the homecoming dance. So dress Throughout up. the week of homecoming, we will be hosting a food drive. Please donate non-perishable food items to be collected in your homeroom every morning. Each homeroom will compete to collect the most items. Considering how difficult this past year has been, donations are greatly appreciated.